information is, is the source of development for um, everyone. But for us who live with disability, it is like our day-to-day -day machine. Just like Abed Nigo, many around the world still rely on information to survive and make day-to-day -day decisions, meaning the importance of universal access to information cannot be overemphasized, especially in the 21st century. It's very, very important. Uh, it is said that uh, the oxygen of democracy is information. So it's, it's uh, something that we need to cherish. It's something that we need to defend. And uh, any form of uh, step that enhances universal access to information. Noting that the digital age has introduced various information channels, journalists have a role to play as many still depend on traditional media for information. As journalists, the role we play to ensure that people gain access to information cannot be emphasized, especially in times like these when fake news is prevalent. So on the one hand, we have to ensure that information that is disseminated is original and not fake. And on the other hand, for the benefit of those who do not have access to information, it is our duty and our role to ensure that information gets to all the nooks and crannies of the world, from the grassroots to the most developed of countries. We have to go back to what our job is all about. What is the expected job function of the media? Agenda setting, informing the people the correct way, the right way. People shouldn't be in a rush to share any news. There are no prices for it. Uh, double, cross your, um, double cross your sources and the information you get. And uh, I mean, it's just part of being, it's part of our civic duties, it's part of being responsible. Fake news is one area to tackle as the digital age ushers in more avenue to disseminate information. Fake news can be destructive. Fake news can affect you personally. Fake news can make the nation to go down and we don't have what we are supposed to have. The credibility of all of us who are practicing journalists is our state. We don't have to leave the social media space for people who are not uh, trained journalists, for people who want to use it to cause confusion, for people who want to use it to cause security problems, for people who want to use it to perpetrate uh, crimes. Around the world, many people still cannot exercise their universal rights to information. As the world celebrates International Day for Universal Access to Information, it has become imperative for citizens, civil societies, journalists and government worldwide to ensure that the public gets the right information. As they say, informed people make informed decisions. Ni Omani reporting for News Central.